Welcome to Read Ancient Languages. I'm Dr. Fausto Labruto. Today we travel to France, where in the 7th century this royal decree was written. The study of ancient official documents and letters is called diplomatics. This particular decree was written in Latin. However, because it's not a book, it wasn't written in a book hand, but rather in a cursive. Cursive in the 7th century was very different from today's cursive. And I think that most modern readers will struggle at making out even the smallest word in the script. Today I will focus on the first line of the decree and I will transliterate it and translate it for you. So this is a zoomed in image of the heading of the decree. Because the cursive is so difficult to follow, I will spell it out word by word. So starting from the left, the first letters we see are a T, this is what we call a looped back T. Then uh, H, which looks a lot like a modern day cursive H. Then an uh, eight shaped letter E. And attached to it a U. Notice how letters are slightly change in appearance when they are attached to each other. This reads Theo. Then we see a D and another eight shaped E. Then there is an R. This is what we call a high necked R attached to an I. The next group of letters is a C attached to a U and another R which reads Cus. And the next group of letters is an R and an E and an X, which reads Rex. The latter is similar to a modern day X. Then we have an F and an R together with an N and a C, which ends in a long curl. This reads Frank, which is abbreviation for Francorum. Finally, we have a very convoluted V and an almost unrecognizable letter I with an N and a L. These re are abbreviations for viribus and illustribus. The whole head, uh, heading reads then Theodericus Rex Francorum viribus illustribus, which translated into English means Theodoricus, king of the Franks, to his noblemen. So, this decree was written by King Theodoric III, who reigned over the western part of the kingdom of the Franks in the 7th century. The decree goes on to settle a dispute over a piece of land. I hope I gave you an insight over how difficult it can be to read a cursive hand style from another age. This beautiful example of medieval diplomatics can be admired at the National Archives in Paris, France. Thanks for listening to Read Ancient Languages. Please subscribe to this channel for updates and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram.